The mine workers gathered at the entrance of the mine, waiting for it to be opened. However, no one showed up to unlock it. They began to wonder if there was no work that day. Just then, the peacemakers arrived and opened the mine entrance. As the workers entered, holding torches to illuminate their path, they were astonished to discover that the ore had already been mined and crushed. Strangely, the crusher showed no signs of use. They concluded that it must have been a miracle. One worker suggested reporting their findings, but another worker silenced him, advising that they should keep quiet. Since the ore was already mined and crushed, all they needed to do was transport the diamonds to the surface and collect their pay. The guards at the entrance were shocked to see the workers emerging with diamonds in less than an hour after entering the mine. The previous night, while it was snowing, one of the workers encountered Superman. The workers started talking to him and asked if he was alone. When Superman didn't reply, the worker asked again if Superman could speak Portuguese. Superman remained silent. Undeterred, the man continued talking non-stop. Meanwhile, Superman used his X-ray vision to scan the man's entire body. The man introduced himself and shared his name, then asked Superman for his. However, Superman refused to disclose his identity. The man invited Superman to a celebration that night, promising drinking and dancing. Superman whispered something in response, but the man couldn't hear him. When asked to repeat himself, Superman spoke loudly, I've seen the wonders of your world, and I've seen many places like this, industries that run on suffering. Superman's eyes glowed red as he asked, how do you know what's true? The man replied, you know when you have something worth fighting for, that's the truth. Superman countered, what if you have nothing? The man didn't respond. Superman said he had to go, having more work to do, and then disappeared, leaving the man talking alone. At the present moment, a peacemaker captured a worker who had discovered mined ore inside the mine and began interrogating him. When the worker refused to tell the truth, the peacemaker kicked him in the face and pointed a blade at his neck, threatening him. Just as the peacemaker was about to continue the interrogation, someone called, interrupting the process. Meanwhile, Superman was recharging his suit's solar power inside his apartment. He had connected the wires to the solar panels on the rooftop, allowing his suit to absorb the stored sun energy. The system detected the approaching peacemaker and halted the solar charging, alerting Superman. Within seconds, the peacemaker arrived at his location in a vehicle. He forcibly dispersed nearby bystanders, kicking them and ordering them to move away immediately. The peacemakers kicked in the door of Superman's apartment and entered, guns drawn. The moment they targeted him, Superman punched the air, generating a shockwave that blew the enemies away and destroyed their vehicles. As they regrouped and surrounded Superman, unleashing a hail of bullets, he stood firm, unfazed. The bullets ricocheted off him as if harmless. During the barrage, Superman's suit alerted him. Lazarus Corp's weapons and armor are extraterrestrial, far surpassing Earth's technology in durability and power. Superman realized that even his full strength wouldn't kill them. His suit cautioned against physical engagement. Undeterred, Superman unleashed another shockwave, sending the attackers flying. His suit warned, energy levels critical, retreat advised. But Superman refused, determined to protect everyone. With super speed, he whisked a child to safety, moving her out of harm's way. After that, Superman went to one of the miners and warned, if Lazarus Corp won't pay you, take the diamonds to someone who will. He urged the miner to get everyone to safety immediately. However, his suit advised Superman to leave, but he continued talking to the miner. Suddenly, lightning bolts struck Superman. Unbeknownst to him, drones from Lazarus Corp were projecting the lightning, targeting Superman. Lazarus soldiers in a helicopter controlled the drones, monitoring Superman. Their captain ordered them to halt the attack, intending to capture Superman alive. Before they could stop, 
Superman's anger surged, and he began projecting massive amounts of solar energy through his body, blasting everything nearby. Realizing he might harm innocent people, Superman instructed his suit to shut off the solar energy. Lazarus Corp's military arrived, surrounding Superman with helicopters and battle tanks. As Superman attempted to escape, Agent Lane swiftly handcuffed him and pointed her weapon at his head, commanding, Don't move. 